going through the 12 days of Christmas at the moment. This is day two. So we're just going to slowly work through these little mobility exercises that will help you when you're riding your horse or even just walking out of stables. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to start lying down on our backs. So you don't need any props for this. If you've got a mat, that's great. If you don't, just lie down on your carpet at home. Slowly, control. And just let your legs go out in front of you and your arms go up and overhead. You're going to take the legs slightly over towards the right, moving one foot then the other. And the same with your arms. Your arms can be moving slightly over to the right to your legs. You've got your banana shape, your hips out to the left. And this will just invite a little stretch on the left hand side of your body. Do one seat here, you can cross your left ankle over to your right. That will make the stretch a little bit deeper. And we're just going to get our breath whilst through this nose. So a nice big inhale through the nose. And then exhale out through the mouth. And then from here, we're just going to continue breathing in through the nose, breathing out. There are no dogs here today. Well, Otty is watching, but she's not doing this. We don't have them fighting over the top of me. And then come back to centre. Just lay across the ankles, using core strength to lift up. And we're just going to go to our tables, our toes, our hands, and knees. So just take another minute to ground yourself. Sorry, our wrists below our shoulders and our knees below our hips. And then we're just going to take a few little cats and cows. So on the inhale, we're going to drop the belly, we're going to lift the gaze and our fingers up. And on the exhale, we're going to bow as we contract. And then your chin goes to your chest. It's really good to correct your whole leg back in the saddle. That's good, just breaking up that spine. And then we'll go back to centre point. So we're just going to go up all nice and tight and engaged here. So tuck our belly button back towards our spine. And you're going to lift up with our right leg, right knee is going to go out to the side. And then we're slowly going to do some stuff. Yeah. 
and you're keeping your left hand planted under the ground, it's going to swing back with that right leg, and then you're going to lift up your right hand, lifting up your hips to a little side plank. So, make sure that right hip is dropped forward. And then we go back down. Then we do the same on the other side, so just realign yourself. Little step on the left foot forward, through and to the outer edge of your left foot. And then we're just going to rock backwards and forwards. Working that mobility of the core. Push the heart forward. Back nice and straight. Good. And then we'll do the side plank of the other side. Stepping back with the left leg, lifting up. Into our first downward facing dog. Just pedal out your feet here, find where's comfortable for you, pushing down one heel, then the other, bringing your chest towards your thighs. And then we're going to lift up with our right leg, lift it up to the sky, bend the knee, open up the hip. And then from here, we're just going to do some circles again with the hip. So, so the downward dog is really good for straightening up your upper body whilst in the center. Really think about that. We don't want to be collapsing to the left hand side as we do this. Change direction of the circles. And then we relax it back down. You go into a plank pose and then we lower down. Wrist control into a cobra. Press down through the feet, lifting up through the heart. And then roll back down, back into a downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back, paddle out the feet, then we're going to repeat that on the other side. So lift up your left leg, up to the sky, bend at the knee, really push, open up that hip, and then start to do some hip circles. That's it. And then change direction. And then relax it back down. From this down dog, just walk your feet forward to the top of the mat. And then we're going to wide hand feet into a wide legged forward fold. So just as wide as where it's comfortable. Maybe just going to hinge forward from the hip. And then let your hands drop down towards the mat. You're going to keep your left hand planted onto the ground if you can. If not, got your fingertips. You're just going to lift up, follow your hand with your gaze if that's okay with your neck. And just stretch out the shoulders here. And then relax back down and repeat on the other side. And then from here, we're just going to pulse right and left, bend with your right knee and your left knee. Just working into those hips again. That's it. Then when we get to the right hand side, we're going to step forward with our left leg. We're just going to repeat our pose from yesterday. So we are on the 12 days of Christmas. So this is of Christmas, the partridge in the pear tree. So we're going to lift up by the point of your gaze, lift up with your left leg, place as high as you can onto your right leg, and then you're going to lift up if you can with your arms and place them up and overhead. Open up that knee, press it out nice and wide. Keep the breath. It's really good for focus, balance, and concentration whilst you're on the horse. And you relax it back down. I'm going to widen the leg again and we're going to pulse left and right. Just working through these. That's good. Then we're going to step to the left this time and we're going to repeat our, uh, our pear tree this side. So we're going to lift up our right leg, place as high as you can onto your left leg. Then we're going to inhale, raise the arms, find the point if you need to. Open up that right knee. That's it. Keep the breath. Try not to grip with your feet. That's good. And then we're going to relax back down. And then from here, we're going to go 
onto the mat slowly with control just to finish today's exercise at Lucy Clements. He's second day of Christmas. What did your true love bring to you? Can you turn some doves? So we're going to do the turtle pose. Here, so you can just put your feet together, the soles of your feet together, your knees nice and wide, flat to the side, and then you're just going to thread your hands through and you're going to fold down forwards. So this will loosen up your thighs, which will relax your knees, which will allow your horse to move with freedom underneath you, nice and forward, with a lovely even rhythm. So that's the aim of riding, and this exercise should help yeah, to relax and loosen further into the pelvic bones. Nice passive stretch, and let the back go down during the And that's the last pose of today, so you can stay there longer if you want to, but if not, that is us. So we've done the pear tree and we have done the turtle, so I wonder what we'll do tomorrow. Um, it's been great doing this today, so I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye!